Hi everyone, this experience will show a quick demo of how we use Julia to create an end-to-end -end financial analysis application that optimizes portfolios based on objective functions and uh, based on a number of assets, a number of input assets uh, that we are going to have. Uh, after we perform the optimization, we will also analyze and visualize the results using plots. We first start by uh, importing some packages that are going to be useful for our use case. These include packages for data frame manipulation, uh, plotting, and optimization. Here we define a function that's going to be generating our dummy data. Uh, as you can see here, we've created a risky asset and a stable asset. Uh, the risky asset is obviously more rewarding than the stable asset. Uh, for the optimization, we're going to be uh, we're going to need to use the returns, uh, the timestamp on, on timestamp returns. So we've calculated them here and we've validated the results for each stock. Uh, now we just define some variables that are going to be useful for our optimization. And we define the problem as a multi-objective problem. We then create constraints and the objective functions. The constraint is just that we cannot, uh, that the weight for all the assets uh, must sum up to one. And the uh, objective functions uh, describe the risk and return. Now we just tell multi-jump which of the objectives must be maximized and which must be minimized. Uh, we also define the number of points we would like on our frontier and we perform the optimization. The result of the optimization includes uh, the risk and return values for each portfolio and includes the asset compositions for each portfolio as well. Moving on, we can see the results of the optimization. We visualize these using the Plotly JS backend and uh, we use this to show some, uh, to include some interactivity with the plot, uh, as you can see. We can uh, analyze the risky and safe asset composition for each portfolio. And as we move up the frontier, we include more of the risky assets. Um, this short demo uh, shows, the basic, shows some basic functionality. Uh, when tackling a larger problem, we can introduce more assets and more constraints. Julia's ecosystem allows us to tackle problems such as this and to communicate very effectively. Uh, an example of this is the weave package. Which was used to, which we have used multiple times to generate uh, reports from within the code. Uh, this saves us a lot of time when we need to process and to visualize a larger amount of data than uh, this dummy problem, for example. Uh, thank you so much for listening.